Uh, now I'm sitting here with this organite pyramid in my hand. Um, for those who know who've been watching, I'm sitting inside my bamboo pyramid. Now my bamboo pyramid was actually um, set up by myself maybe for like months now. I've been working out of my pyramid, doing a lot of different rituals and incantations and putting crystals in the ground, lighting candles, burning incense, you name it, visualization. I do it all y'all because I feel the pyramid is a form of, it's an antenna, all right? Now I just wanna tell a story that happened yesterday. Cause to me it's like, wow, I'm that powerful that y'all had to take the time to come and disturb my pyramid and take it down. Yes, y'all, the utility company claimed that they need to remove my, move my pyramid because they say that it was in the way of them cutting a tree in my yard, which they never asked to cut the tree. Let me show y'all this, this tree real quick. Clean the lens. So if you can see this tree right here, all right, and you see the wire right there, they were claiming that there were branches, which these branches was just like this. See these skinny branches right there? Small little branches was coming in towards the wire. So they claimed they had to come and move my pyramid, which they did, and they moved my organite pyramids out the ground. And guess what? They stole one. So not only did they come move my stuff around, they stole some of my materials. All right, I had a pyramid sitting right here. That's the new one I put. If y'all remember the video in the past I showed, there was another, there was a smaller pyramid sitting there. And for whatever reason, they come, they move my pyramid. I told them not to, all right? And when they came to move the pyramid, all of a sudden, one of my organite pyramids was missing. I'm just saying that to say that, wow, that makes me aware of the fact that, or reminds me of the fact that my pyramid is powerful. This bamboo pyramid that I'm sitting under is powerful, okay? Because of the way that I've laid it out, the way I've put in each corner these crystals and these organites okay to enhance the power so like for example let me show you this one see that's an organite there then i got an organite there along with a bottle of water remember the water you gotta have the water in the corner as well water in the glass all right water with the organite pyramid water with the organite pyramid now this is the latest, newest one that I've placed in the ground, this, this, this organite, because one of them Mexicans that came cutting a tree stole my pyramid. I told them when I was on my way out to the store, y'all could uh, come cut the tree if y'all want to, you know, if y'all saying it's going to hit the line, I understand. But don't touch my pyramid. That's the last thing I said. Then I went to the store, I come back. Guess what? He moved my pyramid. Now y'all like, why are you making a big deal of this? Because this is like an altar. This is not no decoration. This is not. I'm just trying to show people how I can make a pyramid. No. I do work in this pyramid. Now let me tell you something crazy that happened. So I'm at the post office delivering a package, right, for clients. And something told me somebody stole something from me. I didn't realize that what was stolen was right here because they went and started touching my things, moving my things, and one of them slipped up and seemed like they put one of my organite pyramids in their pocket. Now these people claim they work for the electric company. So, I, you know, I didn't go fighting with them, and I, and I was just like, you know what? They work for the utility company. I ain't trying to start beef with them. 
I was smart about it. I said, you know what? Hey, y'all want to go take my organite pyramid out the ground? Because I actually put it in the ground with a piece of copper attached. It's like, oh, y'all want to do that? Okay, you know what? No problem. I'll go make another one. And I like what one person said when I shared it with them. They was like, yo, it reminds me of those movies when people go and steal something out of mommy's tomb. And next thing you know, it curses them or it does something bad. And they end up wanting to give it back because they went and stole someone else's property. So I'm not saying, you know, wishing them to be cursed or anything. But the fact is that I know that nothing good could come out of them um, stealing. That's just bringing bad karma they would so yeah, yeah, I'm drinking this elderberry tea. How many of y'all familiar with elderberry? It's great for smokers like myself. You know, um, I don't smoke cigarettes. I only smoke herbs. But at the same time, I do smoke. So I just make sure that I'm good. And elderberry helps with your lungs. What I like about elderberry is that it's purple. But yeah, y'all, that's how attached I am to my pyramids here. That literally when I was out at the post office, I felt like somebody stole something from me and wasn't realizing that what was stolen was the pyramid that was still sitting in the ground. They literally came, took it, put it in their pocket because you know it was a smaller one it wasn't this big so it was like about half the size but so yeah April 8th is coming up April 8th y'all y'all heard about the solar eclipse we got a lunar eclipse coming up on the 27th what I'm hearing about the solar eclipse is that it's a real game changer, especially for us as melanated beings that we're going to begin to experience upgrades like never before. So I don't know about y'all, but my body been going through like these hot spells, <laughs> where my body would just heat up, I start sweating. And what I'm hearing is that we have these internal explosions and inside and it's like the energy is so powerful and I think that's what's causing me to be sweating like I'll be sitting down in the house and it'd be like it'd be cold outside but I'll be sweating and I don't know why and now I'm starting to realize we're getting closer to the sun yeah the sun is about to do something that is about to change the whole frequency change the whole chemistry of this planet but it's changing it for the better which i'm happy about that for us that is i mean for the system that was built it's not going to last y'all it's falling apart y'all hear so many plans that i'm trying to come out with this cryptocurrency this digital currency this money system like they really trying to save you know humpty dumpty but i tell people Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Y'all know the story. Finish it with me. Humpty Dumpty took a great fall. And all the king's horses and all the king's men ain't gonna be able to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Right. We don't gotta fear nothing. But there is a major shift coming for sure and it's already upon us. I feel it in the no, I feel it in the sun. Y'all see that sun? I feel it in the sun. I feel it. I feel it in my mind. I feel it in my spirit. I've been knowing this is about to come for years. They say that this is a solar eclipse that comes every I don't know how many thousands of years. So if you think about it ages shift every what 20 25 2600 years we go into a new age like we're going from the age of pisces to the age of aquarius to the age of aries you know so as we're going through these shifts right obviously 
the sun, the moon, are markers, right? They're markers to let us know the mark of a new age. Hello, somebody. So, I'm happy to be entering a new age. Some people are afraid. Some people are, you know, worried about their bank account and all this other stuff. My thing is this. As long as we got the land and we could plant and we could grow food and the sun is shining, that's it. What more do we need? We got the land, we got food, we got seeds. Make sure y'all get seeds. Make sure y'all store up on some water. That's what I'm about to do to model. I'm talking about gallons and gallons of water. Because if there's a blackout for a few days or so, just to have to have a reset. Because in order to have a reset, it's like this. In order to reset your phone, don't you got to turn it off first? Woo! To reset your phone. Don't you have to turn it off? Sun got to be turned off for something new to come. But we not being turned off. They being turned off. Humpty Dumpty is about to be turned off. You know? And I say, as long as you have the right people around you, right, reboot, right? It's a reboot about to go on. I think it's a reboot about to go on, y'all, April 8th. Buckle your seatbelts. We're in for a great ride. But yes, like you said, stay grounded. That's why I'm right here. And I got no shoes on. Grounded. You see, they lied to us. They told us to put on these sneakers, these Nikes and these Jordans. And they made it feel like it was such a glamorous thing to wear sneakers. Meanwhile, at the bottom of our feet, we have these things called reflexology points. Where you could touch at certain points of your feet just like your hands. And guess what? Your body is healed. Your organ is healed. So if it's this part of your foot, you're dealing with your lungs. So they say at least walking 20 minutes a day on grass or sand is a way to heal your body. Did y'all know that? Wow, amazing. When you think of the tree and how a tree is grounded, right? Stay grounded. I like what you said, Simon. See that tree? That tree is grounded, ain't it? Let's let's think about that tree for a minute. That tree roots go deep. Look look how tall that tree is. I call it Big Mama. Big Mama. They gave Big Mama a haircut today. I mean yesterday, and stole one of my organite pyramids while they were at it. For those who missed the story. This pyramid, I told them, do not move my pyramid when they wanted to go cut the tree. They moved it anyway, and they still couldn't get to Big Mama to cut, shave off. So they had to go around the house and cut it from the other side. But the point I'm making is that Big Mama is grounded. And that's why she's able to grow so strong. That's why she's able to have like a beehive inside of her. On the other side, she has a beehive. Right? That's why I like to, you see where I'm at, I'm by a tree. You can literally sit under a tree and you can feel the aura of the tree, the energy that's spreading out from the tree. Why? Because the tree is grounded. So if you're grounded and your feet are in the ground, then you're going to get even more of a powerful healing frequency. Big Mama looks good. Yeah. Big Mama is Big mama, look, she got all those wrinkles on her side of her. Look at that. But she's still going strong with the wrinkles and all. It's like she got wrinkles on this side, but this side she got smooth skin. I don't know how that happened. It's like wrinkled skin, smooth skin. Oh, I get it. 
They keep coming and cut, ch chopping the branches. That's why. Yeah, they keep clipping those branches because they don't want Big Mama to interfere with the, their light. Okay. But my pyramid had nothing to do with all of that. You know what I'm saying? And But I'm grateful that at least I know and I can sense that I'm doing something so powerful that the damn, they sent a whole damn construction crew to move my bamboo. Do y'all hear that? Nothing happens by coincidence. How do you go in somebody's yard, you call yourself working as a tree company for the utility company, the electric company and a person where you're going to cut the tree tells you do not touch my personal thing do not touch my pyramid do not touch anything i go to the post office to mail packages to my clients some people ordered a ring some people ordered a um one of these So I'm going to mail out a ring and going to mail out an organite necklace. Come back. They moved my pyramids and stole one. That's nerving them. Like, how you going to go to somebody's house? You working for the city. You working for a utility company. And then you steal somebody's shit. Like, that's crazy. But, yeah, man. Um, I got more of these if anyone want to order. I'm just walking around my yard here. Oh, I got another powerful thing I need to show y'all. Woo! Hang on to y'all seatbelts. What I'm about to show y'all in a minute is going to blow y'all minds. Are y'all ready to see my Organite staff with a jet on top? Hold on, let me go get it. Yeah, y'all, uh, it's something new that I just made. This piece of Organite is bigger than my hand. As far as... Square um, area. This this Organite is serious. I'm about to show it to y'all. Um, it's great for clearing our home, for bad energies. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Cold bloody. Yeah. Sexy, sexy, sexy. That's what she is. Why I say she? Cause pyramid, I mean, crystals, things of that nature are like a feminine energy because they're always reproducing themselves, right? Yo, I was just a download, y'all, because I never knew I could explain it that way. Do y'all hear what I just said? Crystals are kind of like a feminine energy because you can only get the masculine and the feminine energy from a feminine energy. You cannot get a feminine energy from a masculine energy. Y'all hear that? What they call them asexual when these uh, creatures they found in nature can reproduce without the help of a male species. So that's why I say she's sexy, 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 because that's a quartz, right? And these quartz crystals do what? They have babies. As far as I knew, only feminine energy is having a baby. got magnets there I got uh, magnetic hematite along with some um, neodymiums y'all see the ne neodymiums we got the cop at the bottom thank you Simon now as far as I know Moses had a rod of staff 
and so did Pharaoh, right? In the story in the Bible. We also see Moses with a rod and staff when he split the Red Sea. So what's up with these rods and staffs, y'all? Huh? What's going on? What's what what we've been sleeping on about them? We've been sleeping on them, y'all. But it's no longer we cannot sleep no longer. We got to start using the energy and harnessing the energy that comes from working with a, a rod and a staff. This is a staff. Some might want to call it a walking stick, <laughs> right? Because you can walk with it. But imagine I'm walking with it, right? So what's happening while I'm walking with it? I'm hitting the ground. I'm hitting the ground. So if I'm hitting the ground with a piece of organite, hello, somebody. I'm hitting the ground with a piece of organite that's wrapped with copper that... <clears throat> you hear that? And it, it rattles. Why it rattles? Right. It's, an, it's like an antenna. Woo-wee. Yeah. I'm calling the power of the energy right now on my ancestors, my spirit guides, all of them to protect my home. So I'm walking around, you can walk around your yard with it. Uh, hit the ground, hit the ground with it, y'all. Hit the ground with it, right? And it's protection all around my home right now. Angels, ancestors, they all pulling up, y'all. They like, woo, woo. The antenna beaming out. <laughs> it's beaming out a signal. Like, yo, they about to pull up, yo. So what's about to go down, y'all gonna find out. All right, stay tuned. Shit, I'll be having owls hop pulling up in my yard. Literally, y'all, the owl in that tree one night. Let me show you. I was coming out. I was right here. I was in my driveway. Boom. I thought it was a damn cat in the grass. Look, the grass. It was like a. It was like an owl right here in my grass. A big owl. Right here. Moving around, moving around, moving around. Big owl. Boom. So I came towards the owl, right? I'm coming towards the owl like this. This. Get with the owl. The owl went in the tree. Boom. Up there. So I'm thinking to myself. The owl did not leave my yard. Let me say that again. I was back here. I came towards the owl. The owl came towards me, y'all. Because when it was in the grass right here, it flew up in the tree right there. But I was standing over there. You get me? So I'm like, yo, this owl is bold. Like it, it literally flew up in one of these trees right here. And I'm standing here looking at it like, Yo, what up, homie? It was right there from the tree. I was like, yo, what up, homie? I said, yo, you awesome. I was talking to the owl like he was so intelligent. It's like, yo, the owl was staring at me like. And if it's, it heard something, it would turn its, its head. But his whole body was stiff, but it's only his head would move like this. And then he would focus right back on me. So... From that point on, I knew something powerful was about to happen with me, y'all. I knew it was about to, I was catching downloads just for even looking at that owl that night. The owl came to me to let me know that, yo, your life, your whole life is about to change, homie. Like, your whole existence, you about to experience something that is life-changing, is monumental. You see owls all the time? What, where you at? Where you see owls at? Yeah, they use their bodies, right? Our ancestors could use their bodies. Good point. Yo, when I just got on the camera today, I saw a, a, a red robin. I ain't say nothing about it because I see them all the time around here. They got a whole family, whole village living out here. But yeah, thanks for agreeing with me that my home is protected. And my whole fam. <laughs> right? We got a lot of children in the house and you know we definitely want our children to be stay protected and as well as us right 
But when you think about what's happening, look at the science of this. So my hand is touching what? Copper. What's copper? Conductive. It conducts electricity. Where's the electricity coming from? Me. Because we are electromagnetic beings. Yeah, yeah, dogs, cats, bro. I had dogs, cats, I, um, hawks, what else, snakes. I literally had a snake coming by y'all. I'm gonna show y'all where the snake came. But yeah, y'all, so check it. I'm touching this copper, boom. What am I doing? I'm sending the energy of my body through the copper. I'm speaking to the cop, I'm speaking to the copper and I'm speaking to the crystal all at the same time through my mind. And I'm telling this energy what I want it to do. All right? So, I'm destroying all generational curses are broken over my fan right now. Every generational curse is broken. I live in constant prosperity. Right? antenna what are we doing we speaking to the planet through our feet through our voice through the air through the through, through the ground through the ground now what goes on in the ground what goes on in the ground it's a whole damn communication system y'all how you think these trees is communicating through the ground how we communicating through the ground through the ground I lay it down I send a powerful cosmic sound around my town healing people that's really down not trying to be clowns Woo! I'm saying it now yeah they tried to shut down my pyramid but I built it back up I'm the nigga from the hood, South Jamaica, Queens, y'all. That's what's up. We don't play no games. We taking our shit back. It's all the hours, the sweat of our back. Word to Jack. In jail, who went down the hill to fetch a pail of water. Well, tell me to bring me my damn water and don't forget my quarter. Every enemy's about to be slaughtered. Yo, everything that's tried to hold us down, keep us back, we shut it down now. We shut them down, shut them, shut them down. I shut them down, shut them, shut them down. Shut them down, we shut them, shut them down. Every clown, every fool. Every Judas is shut down. Thinking about all them Judas's, you know, those traitors is shut down. Cause really that's how they got us, y'all, was through the traitors. The people that know you, they know your moves the best. They revealed it to your enemy, and that's they revealed it to the enemy of our ancestors, and that's how our ancestors lost. Because of the Judas's the traitors. So we move the power of every traitor. Their power is broken. Everybody that you thought was your friend is a fake friend. They about to be revealed right now. We remove the veil. We remove it. The mask comes off. Once the mask comes off, we set it off. You got to remember who's boss. I'm that nigga with the hot sauce. Bow. Shoot it through the membranes of my brain. Yeah, we the boss. We the boss with the power of this organite. We send the energy through the planet. Alright. Yeah, y'all. So um we gotta have fun with it, y'all. Y'all see me have fun with it. I'm out here freestyling. I'm out here. Like I have fun with what I do. And if anybody out there that's 
into doing magic or anything, just remember, have fun with it. Don't be so, like, stiff and rugged, I mean, so rigid that you can't have a good time. I just had a great time. Ooh, I see another Red Robin. My energy non-stopping. Around the clocking. Tick-tocking. What I love about the Organite is that it, it it keeps going non-stop. It don't stop. It's not like it got to have to be connected to a battery. It's constant, 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 constant energy flowing. Or look at that, look at that. Look at those crystals in there, y'all. Right. Anything that makes you feel good is good for you. Now, let me tell y'all what's in this crystal, y'all. So at the bottom, I got a bunch of copper, right? Let me show you what's inside. So y'all see it on copper? So this is copper that's inside. Can y'all can y'all imagine where I got the mold for this? Yo, look in your local supermarket, y'all. I got this out of an onion, a plastic onion container from Walmart, y'all. Go grab them up. Any of those onion, those herbs containers, they're plastic. They at the bottom looks like that piece of plastic I just cut off the top fill it up with organite fill it pour the pour the um at the bottom you see the you see the copper fragments right copper then you got quartz then I got copper again another layer of copper on top of the quartz then I did then I did quartz so notice it's layers so it's a layer, it's a layer of metal, it's a layer of crystal, it's a layer of metal, it's a layer of crystal, it's a layer of metal, this is a layer of metal, right here, this layer, this is brass, these are key shavings right here, this layer right here, now this layer, yeah, powerful, this layer right here, y'all, this layer right here, is filled with ocean blue kyanite, which is a very psychic, powerful, high energy crystal, along with dragon's blood, y'all. I put some dragon's blood in here, along with selenite. I always use selenite, along with galvanized steel. Galvanized steel is up in here. So I have three different metals. I got galvanized steel on this top. Then I got brass right here. Then I got copper at the bottom. So bra copper, brass, galvanized steel mixed inside here with the uh, dragon's blood and the quartz and the selenite. And when you see a lot of those red pieces, that's dragon's blood. That's dragon's blood right there, those red pieces. But some of them are finely crushed. So, yeah, wands are powerful. And then I got this big crystal. It's sitting inside here, like, a little bit down, like, about that much. It's going deep into the crystal. Because it's a big crystal. It's not this short. It actually goes longer, right? So, it's embedded inside of the, you know, the resin. And... Then it has that copper also wrapped around it inside of the resin along with brass also. Would be brass or silver? No, not silver. Um along with I think the galvanized steel. So basically, it's a lot going on here, you know. Then we got right here, these are magnets going all the way around 
Then you got the copper holding it on to the organite with the triskelion at the bottom with the copper BBs going in a circle. You can get those copper BBs. There's like BBs you could get from uh, Walmart. Yeah, I appreciate that. So I wanted to um, show y'all that and just talk about how the fact that, I don't know, I just got a vision of like a bunch of us holding these in our hand on the ground. That's the key. On the ground, right? When you hold it on the ground, you speak it to the whole planet like you were saying, like it's an antenna. So I had this vision and we hold these to the ground, right? You could actually influence the energy on a planet. Cause Moses influenced the energy of the planet by splitting the Red Sea with his. So what can you do with yours? I y'all know that story. Some of y'all may not know it, but it's a story in the Bible. Now I'm not saying everything in the Bible you're supposed to follow, but there are some messages in the Bible that why they bumping you off? They ain't trying, they trying to keep you from getting these downloads. But yo, story in the Bible, Moses, what did he do? Split the Red Sea. Now, whether it happened actually or it didn't happen, it ain't really concerning me right now. What is telling me is the fact that you can manipulate the energy of the waters, the river, the Red Sea with a staff, a rod, a staff. And in Psalms, it says, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Right? In Psalms 23, your rod and your staff. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me beside still waters. Yea, through I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Right? So, I don't, you don't need to fear no evil. We, we don't fear nothing. That's why we can say what we want. And I have to worry about no type of damn repercussions because guess what? We are so protected. Bro, I got a whole legion of freaking vicious dogs right behind me. You just don't see them. But step to me the wrong way, they might eat you alive. All right. I saw it in a dream. My dog Set Mech that passed away, rest in power to Set Mech. It's a long story. From the story I'm hearing, but it's a long story. I don't know fully, but so a wild boar tried to attack me in a dream. Now this is a big ass pig. I don't know if you guys know. If you're from the city, you probably don't know about these. But if you're from a country somewhere where they got wild boars, like you seen them running through like Arizona in the desert. You know, they big as hell. And you do not want to be outside your car when they're coming through because they will attack you. So these pigs, mm, these pigs will attack you, huh? Oh, did y'all get that? The pigs will attack you. But we got dogs that got our back, yo. So these pigs try to attack me in my dream. My dog segment popped out of nowhere. That's the thing. So now if your dog passed away, guess what? Your dog didn't just pass away. Your dog is right next to you in the spirit realm. So you, now your dog is freaking elevated onto a whole nother level. And I got a lot of those. I got Kachina. I got Diamonds. Tyson. I got so many of them. I can't even name all their names. Hashi. Sheba. These are all the dogs I had around me growing up from day one. Always had a dog around me. Right? Um, poo, right. So, boy, wild boy tried to attack me. So my dog Sekhmet, that's a Belgian Malinois. They're freaking them military dogs. They don't, they ain't scared of nothing. They'll go into a burning building and go get somebody, pull them out. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they're very dedicated. They do whatever you tell them to do. They the most highly intelligent dogs on the planet. Right. So, 
I had a Belgian Malinois. She attacked the wild boar in my dream and she got it on the neck and she was almost getting it, but then the wild boar got loose and started getting her back, right? And so what happened is Sekhmet had a whole crew of dogs that just popped out of nowhere like a whole, cause you remember dogs roll in packs, y'all. Remember that may not roll in packs out here too much, but if you let them dogs be in a natural environment, they will roll in packs. So a whole pack of dogs came out and attacked the wild boar and saved my life. True story. Who was the pig trying to attack me? I don't know, but my dogs took care of you. So that's just a warning to anybody who's trying to think of doing anything stupid. Like don't touch anything that belongs to me not anyone in my family not anything around me because you will be dealt with and my dogs will eat you alive all right <laughs> rest the power of the dmx where my dogs at so i'm asking you where my dogs at where my dogs at y'all see coming from new york queens new york your dogs is your people your dogs is the people that got your back all right they say a dog is a man's best friend there's people out here who try to act like they're your friends but they're not your friends but then there's really people that's your friends they're your dogs them is your dogs yeah i got a whole posse of dogs around me Every t everywhere I go, dogs want to follow me. That's how I know I got dogs around me because they're playing with the other dogs. That's why they like to come around me. I freaking came home one day and there was a dog in my yard, just a stray dog from I don't know where, just chilling on my stoop. Your past relatives, your dogs, yeah. Yo, the dog was chilling on my stoop. I got the video, if y'all look in one of my videos, chilling in my yard. When people try to walk by, the dog was barking at people. I was like, how the dog just came in my yard and end up being security? Like, out of the blue, I do not know this black dog. It came out of nowhere, and it's, it decided it wanted to be a security guard in my yard for about a week until my wife was like, you know, I don't really want the dog around because she's not into dogs. And she was like, could you just tell the dog to leave? I was like, but the dog is cool. What's wrong with the dog? <laughs> I'm used to growing up with dogs. She ain't really growing up with dogs. Used to growing up with dogs. So it's like, she's like, nah, I'm tired of the dog right now. You can let him, let him, let him go some, let him go somewhere else. So little kitties was a little upset. We had to tell the dog goodbye. But in the spirit, the dog is still there. The dog, dogs are there in the spirit all around me. Dogs my favorite, for real. I like dogs better than cats. Cats be catching attitudes with niggas like, cats is real finicky. They don't want to be touched like, ew, don't, don't touch me. Dogs like, yeah, touch me. But yeah, y'all, I just had to come out here and speak to y'all in my pyramid and let y'all catch some downloads with me because I am sitting under the antenna, y'all. So if I'm sitting under the antenna and I'm getting this information, it's coming to you. Do you get that? Yeah, y'all. Go build yourself an antenna, for real. Just get yourself some wood. You don't got to even have bamboo. You could just get any damn stick in your yard to be straight up with you because it's wood. And wood is organic and it carries an energy. Yeah, it may not be straight, straight, but it will be, as long as it goes in a line, it may go in a snake line, but who cares? It's still a energy. It's a organic energy. The wood over time turns into crystal, which is called petrified wood, which literally wood is like crystals in another form of crystals. Over time, they harden and they turn into sand and that's where we get a lot of sand from you know is those trees that they cut down our ancient trees the tree of life certain trees that we had look at avatar 
what was the energy in? What was the power in their trees? What was they, where was they being attacked? Their trees was being attacked. That's how the avatar, remember they were losing because their trees were being cut down. But, uh, I appreciate y'all listening. Um, I just want y'all to just be encouraged. I don't, I don't do this to, I ain't even caring about making a name for myself. I ain't doing it for that. I ain't doing it for fortune or fame. I'm doing it to, out of love for my people. Like, I want my people to, like, really come into the fullness of who they are. That's just why I'm doing something called Manifestation Nation. I want y'all to get down with me. Me and my goddess, Ashley, we put it together, and we're doing it online right now through Zoom call, so you could join us weekly through a Zoom call, all right, where we talk about manifestation and how you could become a master manifester, and we give you certain tools to do it because we manifested each other, all right? There was one time when I was single, I didn't have nobody with me. I was almost losing my mind because I'm a man. I like to always have a woman that I wake up to. To be real with you, that's just how I am. Since I was 21 years old, I always woke up with a woman by my side most of the time. So I feel like it's great when men and women to work can work together as a team because it's that triangular powerful energy. It's that nuclear power. Because think about it. Boom. Woman, man, they make what? Children. Bow. And you can't build nothing unless you're building with a pyramid. Honestly, you gotta have a threefold cord. A threefold cord is not easily broken. That's what the scripture says. That means you could break a lot of things. You could break up two people. You could break up three, but it's harder to break up three people because they become formed into a pyramid. So they become a force to be reckoned with. All right? So us as a man or woman with children, we are very powerful. Any of you out there, you got to. Look at that. Branches falling out the tree, y'all. Y'all see what they did? They can't mess with my tree. Now they got little branches falling out. But they not going to get me. Because I don't care. I ain't scared. <laughs> A branch fell down. Y'all ain't hear it? Anyway, they can't stop me, y'all. I'm protecting. I'm under my pyramid. <laughs> no fear, for real. <laughs> so check it. Right. You know, spirits show me that this is what they trying to stop right here. They don't want men and women to come together for one, so they want to separate us. They want us to have all these gender wars and want us to be fighting over foolishness. When men and women, men and women come together, they not to compete against each other. They are a team. My woman compliments me. I compliment her. And then on top of that, we're able to make a baby together so therefore we're making another version of who we are and we're blending our DNA together to do that if that ain't being God I don't know what is like if people be like nah we ain't God how we God nigga how'd you get here through a goddess through a womb her whole body she created you through her body she formed you in her womb for over nine months who out here doing that Go find me a computer, a Mac computer, a, a Dell, a laptop. You could just put something and boom, a baby come out. Like, it's nothing out here making that or doing that. <clears throat> what you mean some have a third DNA? But I don't mess with any other DNA, just so y'all know. You got to stay within your DNA because you don't want to stop your bloodline from continuing. That's like an orange tree saying, I don't want to be the branch saying, I don't want to have oranges no more. I want to make cantaloupes. Well, no, that tree was meant to be an orange tree. You cannot go switch it up halfway and decide to be a cantaloupe, nigga. Like, you can't decide to go out here and have cantaloupes. If your family been birthing oranges, stick with the damn oranges or mangoes or apples or whatever it is that your genealogy is. Strengthen that, you know what I'm saying? Keep that pure, keep that solid, because if not, you will lose it. Because you go messing around with something else, that's it. That's the end of your bloodline. It's over for you. No more babies coming through you. That is organic to this earth. Now, if you want to go messing with an alien with an alien species and going sleeping with dogs and cats and rats, that's on you. 
but I'm staying with my beautiful goddesses. I'm not staying, I'm not trying to mess with nothing else that is foreign to who I am. But yeah, that's the other thing. We are from other planets. We are not from this particular earth necessarily. Some of us are from certain star system. When you look out there, you see the Milky Way, you see um, Orion's Belt. There are people from Orion's Belt. I know there's people that I know that. Yeah, so right, we are stars. When you see those stars going through the sky, that's us flying through the damn sky. I know I fly through the sky. I have so many dreams of myself flying, literally. And dreams are not a lie. If you're having a dream, that means that you're really seeing what you're seeing. So you might as well believe it. I know it sounds crazy, but it really is going on in a different realm in a, in a sort of way. Now, some of the faces could change up and that could fool you because remember, people can switch characters and put on a mask and make you think they're one person when they're really another. All right. So you really have to discern. But I see my brother in my dreams on a regular. I see my grandmother. I talk to my brother. I've, I've seen my father. Rest in peace to my father, Keith Lake. My grandmother, Inez Veronica Henriquez Allen. My brother, Lamont George Lake. My father, Keith Lake. I literally have come in contact with them. So they still are in existence. Your ancestors are exist in existence still. And you're still with them. You're definitely on the same frequency, right? You are a version of your ancestors. I'm a version of my ancestor from Jamaica. My family from Jamaica who make, they make jewelry, Henriquez. Why do y'all think I end up making jewelry? I lost contact with my family in Jamaica, the Henriquez family who still do do make jewelry, but they make it in a different way, but it's still in my bloodline. Why in that world am I making jewelry out of the blue? I went to school to be for psychology and I was doing social work and now I'm making jewelry. <laughs> we are the Christ. We are, we are the Christ, right? We have 33 vertebrae raising up through our back of our spine. 33 bones, y'all. 33 vertebrae. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, numbers don't lie. How long was Jesus here? 33 years. Let's go. Boom. You let the crimson oil, what they say, the crimson oil went down. They talk about the, you know, oils going down the beard of Aaron and all of that in the Bible. They talk about oils, oils. Oils go through your spine, and when it hits your penile gland, boing! If you could get your kundalini energy to raise up, whether it be through meditation, through sun gazing, y'all, I would say is the most guaranteed way. Sun gaze in the morning and at night, before the sun, while the sun is raising, and when the sun is going down. You just look at it, you meditate, you could go, oh. Make sure your feet is on the soil, though. You can't be on no fake plastic with your shoes off, socks off, standing in the sand, preferably. I would go out to the beach in Far Rockaway, where I'm from. I live down in Far Rockaway, Queens, New York. Run out there to the sand of the beach. I call my sis, Nicole, I'm on one way. Meet me at the beach. It was like a mission. We had to get there before the sun got down. I was in my Lexus, like, ooh, on the road to catch the sunset. Even if you got to drive there 30 minutes, get there. Put your fan, your feet in the soil or the sand. Look at the sun. Guaranteed you're going to open. Yo, third eye going to be like, boing. That shit going to come on. You're going to start doing all kinds of stuff like what I'm doing. Making rods, building all sort of creative things. You're gonna start manifesting things that people never even seen before. Maybe vehicles, maybe medical machines. Like your brain is gonna open up into so many levels because now you unlock the other part of your DNA, what they call the junk DNA. And now your junk DNA is gonna be opened up. And so therefore, instead of using only 10% of your brain, now you're gonna be using 90% of your brain or as really as much as you really the effort that you put in. So now if you're using that much of your brain, better believe you're gonna be able to heal people, heal yourself. I helped my wife, Riss. 
She couldn't go like this. How did I hell her wrist? I made an amethyst bracelet and I put organite pieces on it that act as charms. So I made an organite amethyst charm bracelet for her. Boom, she went like this. Now she could wave her hand. Now the pain is gone from the car accident. I believe maybe her wrist was fractured because they didn't see it in the x-ray. Sometimes x-rays don't pick up fractures. So you could fracture something or you could tear some ligaments that x-rays can't pick up. But the damn crystal going to pick it up. It's going to find out what's wrong and it's going to fix it. Also, uh, my wife, she, she complained about something going on with her body. And I, I made one of these for her, for that area, that chakra on her body. And guess what? She woke up the next day talking about, I feel so much better. I'm like, yeah, I know why you feel better. She's like, why? I said, because I made that organite piece for you and I told you to wear it at that part of your body and it's according to that area. So this one is purple. So if you want to do something with your mental, it's good to have it on your crown like this. <laughs> Boom. All right. That's a new design that I'm coming up with. Um, I came up with it. You just seeing it right now in your face. Straight up, y'all. This is the these are purple. This are, there's amethyst crystals in there, y'all. Jam packed with copper, quartz, selenite. All right, those are the main two, y'all. Selenite and quartz. And then you put once you put the selenite, the quartz, the copper, the brass. I even got uh, this might have the galvanized steel in it. All those different metals chopped all together, alchemized the resin pressurizes it <laughs> illuminates that whole chakra area it, it heals it it puts it back in alignment and it does what it needs to do so that you could be healed so like you said yeah i like what you said tune into them they know the true path tune into them use crystals now keep all negative thoughts away right this could keep all negative thoughts away i like that because if you're relaxed and you're like, oh, life is great. I don't have a care in the world. <laughs> if you don't have a care in the world, then you're not going to have no negative thoughts, like you said. Exactly. Simon, you got to hit me up on a message. Go to um, Craig the Creator on Instagram and message me. Craig dot the T H E dot creator go to Craig the Creator on Instagram and message me because you really want to see a lot of good stuff and you never know maybe we could do a, a collab podcast or something like to educate our people like come together and that all I've let oh I can't can I type I can't type on here I'm on my phone I don't know how to type how do I type on here it don't allow me to type. Hold on, let me see if I can type. Craig, C R A I G dot T H E dot creator. So my name is Craig. You know, like Craigslist, Craig, period, the period sign, then T-H-E, the, then period again, then creator, because me and you, we all creators, right? Craig, the creator. All right, message me, send me a DM on there. All right, I'm about to sign out. It was nice building with y'all. Um, we got these downloads for today. That's just go apply them to our life, man. Um, be great, you know what I'm saying? Be great in everything you do. I appreciate connecting with you, Simon, for real. One love. All right. Peace. Namaste. Peace to all the gods and goddess on planet Kai, the God in me. Honest to God in you. One.